Since the 7th of October, we had plenty of evidence that shows Israel as being the responsible side when it comes to massacring the Israelis, whether it was in the Nova Festival or when it came to the other Israeli settlements where masses of Israelis were murdered. Many of them came forward and said that they were killed due to crossfiring primarily from the IDF. We later on had statements from IDF pilots confirming that they were ordered to shoot at every vehicle going back to Gaza. We've had statements coming out from Israeli prisoners who left Gaza, who were released, confirming that they were shot at, they were targeted multiple times in an attempt to kill them. Israel tried to hide most of this as much as possible. However, now this information is resurfacing. So we had an article in the Israeli newspaper Haaretz under the title, IDF ordered Hannibal directive on October 7th to prevent Hamas taking soldiers captive. They said there was hysteria and decisions started being made without verified information. Documents and testimonies obtained by Haaretz reveal the Hannibal operation order, which directs the use of force to prevent soldiers being taken into captivity, was employed at three army facilities infiltrated by Hamas, potentially endangering civilians as well so although they did not confirm that this was relating to the civilians as well this is a damning indictment about the Hannibal directive being confirmed and used by Israel on the 7th of October and we also had the further evidence to elaborate that they shot their own civilians and carried out the massacres on the Israelis to justify the genocide in Gaza that's still taking place to this day and although many people had this information before they covered it up and followed the lies and the propaganda and the pseudo narrative of the official Israeli government and justified and to this day justify the genocide of the Palestinian people in Gaza.